itong formula na to yung gagamitin natin para mahanap natin yung n term sa isang geometric sequence. So, etong a sub 1, ito yung ating first term, si r yung ating common ratio, and then si n is the number of the term. So, sa arithmetic sequence, ito ay letter D. Then, meron siya ditong plus. Then, si D, para ma-compute siya, ang gagawin natin ay kailangan natin i-minus the second term kay first term. So, dito, para mahanap natin si R, ang gagawin natin ay kailangan natin i-divide si second term kay first term. So, let's have an example. So, for example, we have 2, 4, 8, and so forth. Then, hahanapin natin yung pang 6 term. So, kailangan muna natin hanapin si common ratio. So, para mahanap natin yun, kailangan natin i-divide si second term kay first term. So, ito yung ating first term, ito yung ating second term, third term, and so forth. So, 4 divided by 2. So, 4 divided by 2, ang sagot natin ay 2. So, para makonfirm natin if ito na ba yung ating common ratio, ang gagawin natin ay kailangan natin i-divide si third term kay second term. So, ito yung ating third term. So, 8 divided by 4. So, 8 divided by 4, ang sagot natin is also Therefore, yung ating common ratio ay 2. Now, let's plug in yung ating mga value dito sa ating formula. So, a sub 6 equals yung ating a sub 1, which is si 2, times yung r natin, common ratio na 2, then n 6 minus 1. So, 2, 6 minus 1, sagot natin ay 5. So, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, sagot natin ay 32. So, 32 times 2, sagot natin ay 64. Therefore, ito yung ating pang 6 term. So, kung gusto natin i-check, multiply lang natin si 2 kay 8 hanggang marating natin yung 6 term. Find the 10 term of the geometric progression. Number 1, we have 4, 20, 100, and so forth. So, first, hanapin muna natin yung ating common ratio. So, para mahanap natin si common ratio, kailangan natin i-divide si second term kay first term. So, ito yung ating first term, second term. So, 20 divided by 4. So, 20 divided by 4, ang sagot natin ay 5. So, para makonfirm natin, i-5 ba yung common ratio nitong sequence na to, ang gagawin natin ay divide natin si third term kay second term. So, ito yung ating third term. So, 100 divided by 20. Ang sagot din natin ay 5. Therefore, ang ating common ratio ay 5. So, dahil meron na tayong common ratio and meron na din tayong value ni a sub 1, Ang gagawin natin ay substitute na natin siya sa formula. So, a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So, a sub 10 equals a sub 1 natin si 4. Then, yung ating r, 5. Then, n natin, 10 minus 1. So, magiging 5 raised to 9. So, gamit tayo ng calculator para mabilis natin makuha yung value. So, 5 raised to 9, ang sagot natin ay 1,953,125. Then, multiply natin to ay 4. Ang makuha nating sagot ay 7,812,500. Therefore, ito yung ating pang- 10 term dito sa ating geometric progression. Number 2, we have negative 2, 6, negative 18, and so forth. So, first, let's find the common ratio. So, para mahanap natin yung common ratio, kailangan natin i-divide si second term kay first term. So, 6, so 6 divided by 2, ang sagot natin ay negative 3. So, para malaman natin if Ito ba yung common ratio? Para makonfirm natin, ang gagawin natin ay i-divide natin si third term kay second term. 
So, negative 18 divided by 6 ang sagot natin is also negative 3. Therefore, yung ating common ratio ay negative 3. Then, yung ating first term ay negative 2. So, a sub 10 equals yung ating a sub 1, negative 2. So, negative 2 times negative 3 yung ating common ratio. And then, 10 minus 1 so equals negative 2 minus 3. 10 minus 1, sagot natin ay 9. So, gamit ulit tayo ng calculator para mabilis natin makuha yung sagot. So, negative 3 raised natin sa 9, makukuha natin ay negative 19,683. Then, ito, multiply natin kay negative 2. So, makukuha natin ay positive 39,366. Therefore, ito yung ating pang 10th term dito sa ating geometric progression.